Cyber Monday kicking off just a few hours ago, and our next guest says that Amazon is one of her top picks as we head into the year end. Joining us right now is Leah Bennett. She's Westwood Wealth Management's president in the Houston office. And uh, why, why do you like shares of Amazon, Leah? Yeah, good morning, Becky. Good morning. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Online spending certainly continues to, uh, to take share. Um, so Amazon um, obviously dominates the, uh, the group. They uh, represent about 40 cents for every dollar that people spend online now. So, um, so they've definitely dominated the market. But they continue to innovate. And uh, what we basically are looking for next year is an increase in profitability. So whenever you see innovation and, um, and profitability, they're usually not coupled and usually not linear. So you think this is just a, 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 a downturn that's going to be a temporary one and then the stock's going to come back up? Definitely. I think they're going to utilize technology a lot better in order to drive the bottom line. I mean, certainly you see the use of, of AI and of uh, driverless trucks. Sure. Um, there's lots of ways to, uh, to improve profitability going forward. Your next stock took a hit last month after it reported some mixed earnings too. Home Depot. You think that's a similar situation where this was a one-off and they're going to come roaring back too? Yeah, they're, they're spending quite a bit around um, new strategic initiatives. Um, historically, they've traded at a nice premium versus lows. I think that will continue to be the case going forward. Um, the, the loss in profitability due to increased um, spend around these strategic initiatives, it's not lost. It's just deferred until next year. So I do think you're going to see a return to profitability. And the consumer is still extremely engaged in, um, in home spending, in particular around innovation. We're almost out of time, but I want to make sure we get to your third pick, Activision Blizzard. They've got a strong balance sheet. A very strong balance sheet, and um, they dominate the space. Uh, they have some fantastic names, and uh, Call of Duty um, it will certainly be strong this holiday season.